What's up, world? And today I want to talk about the power of confessing stuff and also the power of unconfessed stuff, right? Because what I mean by that, unfortunately, it's a lot of people out here that have unconfessed sin, right? So if you have unconfessed sin, that can allow the power of the devil to come in to your life, into your mind, to your body, into your soul, you know, and to reap habit, to take a stronghold into your life. And you don't want the devil to set up no type of strongholds, you know. With some people, he, he his goal is to take over the mind, body, and soul. But he'll start off real slow, real smooth real he'll take he'll take maybe five inches then 10 then 20 then 30 right to 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 gain more territory within your life so when you have unconfessed sin see this is where a lot of people get mis um, misconstrued is that when you have unconfessed sin that gives the devil legal right over your life your mind your body your soul your entire life your finances things of that nature right so the key to to eliminating the devil from your life, um, to 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 knocking him back down, you know he's gonna always come to tempt, right? But what I'm speaking about is sin, okay? If you do something that you know is not right in God's eyes, confess it. If you confess it to God, He will restore you. You know you repent, you renounce that sin. Okay, you rebuke that sin. Go back to my three R um, prayer rule, right? <laughs> Theory. But it works, guys. You know, if you renounce, it's power in renouncing. It's power in confessing. You have to confess it with your mouth. If you know you did something that wasn't right, come to God and say, God, that wasn't right. I slipped up and said a curse word. Um, that wasn't right. See, that's you confessing to God. God... I said a curse word, can you please help me with this? I'm struggling with this. God wants you to be completely honest. Being a Christian, aka a believer, aka a disciple of Christ, if you will, being a Christian is about being honest with yourself, not about painting this 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 American great Christian image. It's a lot of people over here that's Christian culture right but they're not true Christians being a true Christian is being real with yourself and allowing God to deal with your weak points right we all got weak points I don't care who you are man we all got some type of sin that we struggling with or have struggled with you know then you 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 conquer that in Jesus name then you might move on you might start sinning in another way you know because ultimately as mankind we have a sinful nature so it's no such thing as being a perfect Christian. If you ever find a Christian that um, say that he or she is perfect and, and act holier than thou, you need to run from that person, you know, because that's Jezebel spirit all day. Um, but yeah, I just want to stick with, now that's the importance of unconfess. Now the importance of confessing the sin is allowing God to come into your life, into your mind, your body, your soul, and to fix the problem and to restore you, right? So let's take a look um, at, at the word real quick. So in 1 John 1 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So when you're living a sinful lifestyle, you're not living a righteous lifestyle. Um, if you commit a sin, you wasn't righteous in that moment. But if you confess it, this is his word, guys. If you confess it to him, he will cleanse you from that unrighteous moment. He will cleanse you from that unrighteous lifestyle. If you confess, it, you have to be brutally blunt and honest with yourself about your life. No one knows you better than you besides God, of course. You know, a lot of times we could get out here and, and fake like we just holier than thou and, and we the best Christian on the man, but no one knows you better than you, you and God. It's a relationship between you and God. So if it's things you need to work on, don't be ashamed of that. You know, don't be ashamed 
of working on that. Don't be ashamed of announcing that. No one has it fully together. Amen. Also, um, these past couple of weeks, these past two weeks, I have seen so much healing. So much healing. I have seen Jesus Christ heal so much people, right? Simply because the Holy Spirit, like I give you an example, I might be talking to somebody and they might be going through some type of sickness or whatever the case may be. And the Holy Spirit uh, come to me and he'll say they have unconfessed sin in their life. That's why they, they, are, they are striking with this sickness. This sickness came from the devil. This infliction, this infirmity spirit came from the devil. So then the Holy Spirit will tell me to tell them, hey, whatever that sin is that you did in the past, you need to confess it. And you need to allow God to forgive you. Because we get into this shell where we have did certain things in the past that we might not be proud of, right? But if you renounced it, if you already asked God to forgive you, he's forgiven you. For some reason... Um, sometimes even in doing that we have the tendency of picking that back up and once God forgives you he forgives you guys like the only way that can pop back up is through the devil okay or you you can pick it back up or the devil can pick it back up you know the devil is the accuser so the key is confessing the sin <laughs> once you confess it and you ask God to remove that sin you you ask God to forgive you of that sin. He does it. He does it. He does it. So walk in victory of that. Walk in peace of that. When you do that, wear that, man. Don't go back to what the, 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 the devil is going to try to come and try to hinder you and try to make you think like you're not good enough for whatever situation you're trying to present yourself to the world as. But um, God is telling you you're already forgiven. So wear that wear that okay it's like a helmet wear that helmet you know what i'm saying you don't have to walk in the shame or condemnation or anything from your past or your previous life you know because when you become a christian you're a new creature in christ anyway so wear that okay because if you don't you can allow condemnation to set in and once condemnation set in it brings sickness and afflictions and that's all spirit of infirmity once again right so guys I want to read with you in James 5, 16. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. So, he tells us as disciples to pray for one another, to confess our sins to one another. Because if we all house the Holy Ghost, I mean, you're going to have plain direction in that, right? Don't go confessing your sins to a psychic. Don't go confessing your sins to zodiacs and astrology, uh, medium, or uh, ancestor. Confess your sin to your fellow disciple. Um, confess your sin to Jesus Christ. He tells us to do that. Because that other person might be a little bit more righteous than you at that particular moment. And the prayer of a righteous person works. Healing can take place. So guys, I recognize the jewel in that. I hope you guys recognize the jewel in that. Um, our goal as disciples should be to stay as righteous as possible. Now we're wrapped in flesh. Okay? This flesh have a sinful nature. Sometimes you may fall short. But we should be led by the Holy Spirit. And when we do fall short, Jesus is there to pick us up. All right? Jesus is there to walk us through the whole motion. Right? He'll never leave or forsake us unless we renounce him. All right? So, that's that should be motivating to some people out here. I see so many people out here that try their best to walk as perfect as possible and they get bent out of shape when they mess up or they have a wrong thought or whatever the case may be. No, 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 no. Like, feel motivated by the Holy Spirit to correct that problem. If you have the Holy Spirit, He's going to motivate you to correct that problem. Go through the motions of it. That's 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 how you shape it into what you need to be shaped into. That's how you're molded into what you need to be molded into. But in order to get to, get to that point, you have to be honest with thyself. Be honest with thyself, man, and admit confess confess to God 
If you have a fellow disciple, confess to your disciple. He just told us that it's power in that. Healing will be restored when you confess to one another. Because the prayer of a righteous person is heard. And it, 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 it eliminates all that demonic bondage. It eliminates all that demonic sicknesses and things of that nature. So stand on God's word and confess your sins. All right? So God bless to everybody, man. I hope this message get through. Father, I come in Jesus Christ's name right now, asking that you touch the minds of the listeners of this of this uh, word through this video. And I shoot down any distractions from any demonic spirit that tries to get in the way of this gospel being presented. I ask these blessings in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Y'all go in peace, man. In Jesus' name, God bless get bent out of shape when they mess up or they have a wrong thought or whatever the case may be no 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 like feel motivated by the holy spirit to correct that problem if you have the holy spirit he's going to motivate you to correct that problem go to the motions of it that's 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 how you shape it into what you need to be shaped into that's how you're molded into what you need to be molded into but in order to get to get to that point you have to be honest with thyself be honest with thyself man and admit confess confess to god if you have a fellow disciple confess to your disciple he just told us that it's power in that healing will be restored when you confess to one another because the prayer of a righteous person is heard and it, 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 it eliminates all that demonic bondage it eliminates all that demonic sicknesses and things of that nature so stand on God's word and confess your sins. All right. So God bless to everybody, man. I hope this message get through. Father, I come in Jesus Christ's name right now, asking that you touch the minds of the listeners of this of this uh, word through this video, and I shoot down any distractions from any demonic spirit that tries to get in the way of this gospel being presented. I ask these blessings in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Y'all go in peace, man. In Jesus' name, God bless.